Toronto-based singer Amanda Martinez is a rare talent who's grabbing the attention of both the critics and the public these days. Born to a Mexican father and a Jewish mother from South Africa, Martinez writes and performs in Spanish, English and Portuguese. She's also the host of the popular radio show Cafe Latino. Buenas tardes, I'm Amanda Martinez and this is Cafe Latino on Jazz FM 91. Her debut album, Sola, was recently released to critical acclaim. Can I do that again? Take two. Arts and Minds spent some time with Martinez on the day of her CD launch. Trying to find the smooth parts of the road, though. Okay. <laughs> it's, okay. it's called Sola, which means uh, on her own. And I think it represents a, a new path of me sort of trusting my instincts and forging out, just having faith. So I'm just going on the pure passion and love that I have for this music and belief that it really does have a place out there. Raised in a musical family, Amanda was exposed early on to jazz, Latino and Afro-Cuban artists. It's passionate music. It's passionate acoustic Latin music. For the most part, I sing in Spanish. And uh, even though that's not my first language, it's certainly the, the language that I connect with. And uh, I, when I first started performing, I was performing in jazz clubs, mostly in English, a lot of jazz standards. And I'd always throw in a few bossa nova or Latin boleros. And when I sang those, I always found that people would say, oh, wow, your face just lights up and we can feel your passion when you sing in Spanish. Can you do more of that? Claudia Garcia de la Huerta is the host of CBC Radio's Big City, Small World. Amanda's music is this great fusion of Latin and what I call the new Toronto sound that's coming out of here, um, which is very unique to Toronto because you have all these Latin American artists and musicians, but they all get together and they sort of jumble all those different cultures from the different countries and styles and rhythms, and that's what Amanda is. How are you? I'm going to get my tacos. <laughs> this is the best tacos in town, Tacos del Asador. And it's basically like my kitchen. I come here all the time. And uh, usually, because I'm on the go a lot, I love to cook, but uh, sometimes there's just no time. So when I have to get something quickly on the run, I come here and I get like either a, a taco or the burritos or the chicken quesadilla that I'm trying today. Nos vemos pronto. Hasta luego. So. When it comes to performing, Martinez doesn't limit herself. So which ones? Oh, these ones I have to put CDs in, right? As well as her recordings and live concerts, she's also appeared in commercials. Lisa, I think you've been robbed. What? There's nothing in here. I can't really decide what to do with this room. Oh. And has been a host of the popular television series, Live at the Rehearsal Hall. I'm Amanda Great. Martinez, and welcome to live at the rehearsal hall. Whether I'm on the radio or whether I'm um, performing on a, in a television acting spot, I think that that need to connect with people has always been there. And I think especially with music. Sweet. Wow. Just five years ago, Amanda Martinez was Inverse. making a living in the world of finance. With an MBA from York University, she worked in a bank on Toronto's Bay Street. I just realized that it wasn't me and that I had never really taken my passion seriously. I'd always agreed that, oh yeah, it was, it's just a hobby, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was something inside of me that realized that this is something I really want to do and I would regret it if I didn't at least give it a shot. <laughs> There's no doubt she has a strong business sense. Amanda makes a quick stop at Gregorian, one of Toronto's best jazz and classical music stores, to drop off some copies of her new CD. So I'm excited because I finally have my CDs. We've been talking about this for so for long. For so long, yes, finally, huh? And you remember you gave me sort of advice in terms of like the packaging. So I want to know great. what you think. Let's see. She really respects the classic Latin rhythms and Latin songs. But at the same time, she writes these most incredible uh, songs that are really from the heart. <laughs> Soy la misma ilusión de 
I feel like a gypsy. I think I feel like a gypsy when I perform in Spanish, and it, it's this part of me that maybe I don't, um, I'm not able to uh, have permission to be in my real life, but when I'm on stage and I hear that music, I just become her, and um, it's a really cool feeling. Anyone who knows Martinez knows how much she loves jewelry. On the day of her CD release, Amanda drops in on her friends at her favorite store on Queen Street. But this one is not done yet, right? Right. We're just going to hold it, so we take this one off. Just to get an idea. Yep. Okay. This is the master. Look how beautiful. Okay, let me see. I was so fascinated with the beads when I first came into the store that I well, where's my CD cover? See, these are from the beadery here. And they designed those for me for the actual cover. At the Trendy Drake Hotel, it's a couple of hours before the launch party. Upstairs, Amanda's getting ready. So downstairs, there are only 28 tickets, so we can only sell those, and that's it? Are you work it out? I don't know. I can't do math. <laughs> oh my god, did we get that on camera? I can't do math right now. Yeah, I actually did well in calculus, yeah, but I can't good. do that's math. 90 plus 40 is. <laughs> Can't focus. Please welcome the wonderful, the beautiful, and talented Amanda Martinez. At the party, among the many fans and industry professionals, are Amanda's proud parents. Aside from the musical achievement, it, it's a personal victory for her because she's done it all on her own. I just feel really overwhelmed because it's so many people that all throughout my last five years and my whole life are here tonight. And it's really wonderful to have such support. Suddenly. exemplifies the immigrant experience here in Canada. They bring with them something that a lot of regular artists don't because they bring with them the smarts. And they do it because they really love it and they really have that passion that drives them. And I think that's why Amanda has been able to accomplish so much in such a short amount of time. I remember someone telling me that when you're going forward with the right decision, it energizes you. And I, I seem to always feel that way. And um, I have to say, I, I do feel very strongly that this is what I'm meant to be doing.